Hi everybody, welcome to Devotional Diva. My name is Makeup Dr. Cherie, and thank you for joining me today. Um, each day I like to talk about my spiritual journey and sometimes what's going on with me um, that day, or at the very least give you guys a Bible verse um, that touches me in some way. So each day I like to start out with Psalms 1914, which says, May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock, my redeemer. And I say that to remind myself that it's for the Lord's will I do this and not my own. So um, today is a good day. I've been really worried about my finances and what's going to happen with me because I've been off on workers' comp and just having some communication issues back and forth um, and uh, not having the normal funds that I ha would not be used to um, to be able to pay my bills has been very stressful. And so I've been praying about it, trying to be patient and have faith and uh, trying different things. And uh, I just want to say thank you to my sister and my brother-in-law uh, for helping me out. Thank you so much. God bless you a thousand times over and um, for your, for giving to me in my time and need. So that is really helping me sleep at night. <laughs> um, but I try to still have faith and, and know that God's going to work things out and he will um, just make a way that where there is no way. Um, but I know sometimes that's hard. It's been hard for me. And so I have a few Bible verses here on perseverance and I'll jump right in. Uh, the first one is Colossians 111, which says, being strengthened with all power according to his glorious might, so that you may have great endurance and patience. And I love that one, um, to be able to have great endurance and patience. Patience is a thing that I really got to work on, even the endurance part. You know, I pray and I, I just have to remind myself to have faith <laughs> that things are going to work out. But there's usually a lot of crying and gnashing of teeth that goes along with that. Ecclesiastics 9, 11 through 12 reads, I have seen something else under the sun. The race is not to the swift or the battle to the strong, nor does food come to the wise or wealth to the brilliant or favor to the learned, but time and chance happen to them all. And verse 12 reads, moreover, no one knows when their hour will come as fish are caught in a cruel net or birds are taken in a snare. So people are trapped by evil times that fall unexpectedly upon them. And that really, I was like, wow, when I was reading that, it's like, you know, rain falls on the just and unjust, you know what I mean? Um, so we just have to have faith that no matter what happens and that um, God can get you through whether or not you are learned or wise or you got a lot of money or what happened, he can still take care of you. Um, and then the next one is Romans 12, 12, which reads, Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, and faithful in prayer. And I know those three things are easy to say. <laughs> and maybe just a little bit harder to do, but I've been praying about them a lot. I feel like the Lord's really moving in my life right now. Um, but I also pray for you if there's anything going on with you right now, that you are able to be hopeful and patient and faithful as well. Um, that you can keep up the good fight because, you know, stuff happens to everybody, basically. And, you know, no matter if you're living a right life or not, um, sometimes it doesn't seem fair. And, um, but nobody ever said life was fair. So I just have to believe and trust in the Lord that things will work out in the end. Uh, 2 Thessalonians, the last one I want to leave you with. 2 Thessalonians 3.13, which reads, And as for you, brothers and sisters, I love that it says that. As for you, brothers and sisters, never tire of doing what is good. So maybe rain is falling on you, even though you've done everything right. And Lord knows I haven't done everything right. But <laughs> let's say that you are just and upright like Job and still going through a tough time. That you should never tire of doing what is good. And um, I guess that's it. So. Thanks so much for watching. If this is your first time tuning in or if you're coming back on a regular basis, it is very much appreciated and God bless you. Bye.